All right, now let's use a bit more this triple scalar product. If I have different factors in Rn, V1, V2, V3, Vk in Rn, they'll be called collinear if they lie on the same line. And they'll be called coplanar if they lie, you guessed it, on the same plane. And again, the same caveat that I gave you earlier, um, it just means that it's parallel or that you could actually place them in it. Uh, it doesn't, remember vectors don't have specific positions. All right, example 1.5.4, draw four planar covectors in R3 and three collinear vectors in R4. So let's work in R3 first. I'm gonna draw the axes. So I have X, Y, and Z. Um, I'm going to take a plane and fix it. I'm going to take this X, Y plane. And that's, oops, sorry. And all my vectors will be parallel to them. In fact, I'll just start them all at the origin. So I'm going to take this vector 1, 0, 0. I'm going to take this vector uh, 1, uh, 2, 0. I'm going to take this vector um, 0, 2, 0. And I'm going to take um, this vector minus 1, minus 1, 0. So all of these. Um, All of these have zero Z component, and that means they're all on the X, Y plane. So they're all coplanar. Um, in R2, I want collinear. That should be easier. Let's pick a line, whatever your favorite line is. You can take it. So I'm going to take uh, y equals X. I'm going to take all vectors. I'm not going to draw them all on this because it's going to get a bit confusing. I'm going to take the vector, as long as it's parallel. So this vector will be minus 3, minus 3. Uh, this vector might be 1, 1. And I need another one. Let's take a longer one. This one could be 4, 4. So all of these vectors are parallel to y equals z. And if I wanted, if I started all of them um, at the origin or at any point on that blue line, they would actually be contained in it. So all of these are collinear because they're all parallel to the same line or all contained in the same line. And these are coplanar. All right, so if the vectors are collinear, that means they're all parallel to the same line. So they all need to be parallel, and that's sufficient too. So vectors are collinear if and only if they are pairwise parallel. Now, if we're in R3, we have a little help from our favorite products. So V1, V2 are collinear if and only if they're parallel, so if and only if their cross product is zero. And V1, V2, V3 are coplanar, if and only if V1 dot V2 cross V3 is a zero. Notice that one is the zero vector, one is the zero constant, zero real number, slightly different. All right, let's prove this. Um, I'm gonna prove 2B. Let's start with V1, V2, V3 are coplanar. Well, if they're coplanar, that means that was the definition. So we get an if and only if. That's true exactly when V1, V2, V3 are on the same plane. But if they're on the same plane, 
uh, when we look at these parallel pipe bed that we had over here, if they're on the same plane, we're not getting an interesting parallel pipe bed. We get a flat parallel pipe bed. So that means V1, V2, V3 give a flat, a form of flat parallelepiped. And so the volume of this parallel pipe bed is, well, actually, let me write it in math, the volume, which is V1 dot V2 cross V3 is zero. And I don't need the absolute value because the absolute value to be zero must be that the interior itself is zero. And so I get this. All right, so the fact that it gives us the volume of the parallel pipe bed tells us that if we get zero, then they must be on the same um, plane. And notice that it's quite similar to what we did over here. When we wanted to show that things were collinear, we said, well, the parallelogram was flat. And so the area was zero, which meant that the cross product was the zero vector. All right, in example 1.5.5, we're asked to figure out if the vectors u, v, and w are coplanar. All right, so let's use the proposition we just proved, they're coplanar if the triple scalar product is zero. So all we're really uh, looking for is the triple scalar product. I'll start with the cross product. So I get 2, 5, 3, 10, cross, cross, cross. So I get 20 minus 10, I get 10. I get 3 minus 8, I get minus 5. And I get 20 minus 15, I get 5. And so if I take u dotted with v cross w, I get 1, 5, 3, dotted with 10 minus 5, 5, which is going to be 10 minus 25 plus 15, which is 0. All right, so we get that the triple scalar product gives me 0. And so, yes, they are coplanar. All right, so we just saw what it meant for vectors to be collinear and coplanar. One thing that was hard is we keep reminding you that vectors don't lie anywhere. And then we talked about them being on a plane. So I mentioned that that just meant it was parallel to the plane or that you could move it to lie on the plane. One notion that's easier is if you have points. So let's say I have A1, A, N, B points in Rn. I could call the point collinear if they lie on the same line. So that's much more natural because points lie somewhere. So if you notice here, there's no way of having one line that contains all four. So these points are not collinear. And these, can I put a line through all of them? Hopefully I can. So these are collinear. All right. Similarly, uh, points A1 through AN are called coplanar if they lie on the same plane. Here in that case, I meant A4 to be higher than the plane, so these are not coplanar. While on this side, they're all on the plane, so these points are coplanar. All right, so we know how to test whether vectors are collinear and coplanar, and now we want to know how to use this. Um, for the points, well, if you look at these points, I just put them randomly, um, they're going to be collinear if the vectors that I form from A1 to all of them, if these vectors are collinear as well. So if A1, A2, A1, A3, A1, actually, sorry, 
A1, A2, A1, A3, and A1, An. So all the vectors I get from A1 to all of the other ones are collinear. And then they're coplanar, same thing. I'm going to look at these vectors. If all of these vectors are on the same plane, then all the points would be on the same plane and vice versa. So A1, A2, A1, A3, A1, An are coplanar. So what we've learned what we've learned about uh, vectors being coplanar and how to test, we can use with points, and that's what you'll do in the exercise sheets.